musical notes. Okay, put that back. Hi, this is the first episode of Musical Notes. It is a upcoming spur of the moment musical show idea brought to you by me and Michael Fuhrbach over That's here. That's me, yep. I'm him. And basically we're going to do videos where we talk about music and possibly so talk to bands and stuff too. Maybe. So for the first episode, I figured it was appropriate, since we just started, to talk about the show us three recently attended. Three. Yep. This is Emily. Emily. Which was the Andrew WK Party Messiah tour. Yep, the fir the very first show in that tour. Started off in Portland, Oregon. We yep, the Hawthorne. We don't exactly know why it started off there. Because we're the best. Uh, we, Emily, I enjoyed it. Emily and I have seen Andrew before once at the Warp Tour 2010 at the Hillsborough Fair Fairgrounds. And he had his full band there, and we had never heard him before. And uh, fell in love. Fell in love, basically. First after, sight. Af after we. Uh, First audible sight. After we uh, went to his show at Warp Tour, we went out and bought his I Get What album, which was his. Uh, First debut album and his major hit album, basically. And, it's got um, great hits like. It's time to party, get party. Etc. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when it's time to party, we will party hard. Yeah, and, uh, pretty much. So we've really fell in love with that album, and uh, then. I bought his second album, uh, The Wolf, which was his follow-up to I Get Wet. Did you know, Michael and Emily, that The Wolf was originally going to be titled Blow Your Bone? No, but, I didn't know that, Jordan. But the record company deemed it too inappropriate for sales. Record we have companies. bands like Dying Fetus and Anal Cunt out there. Blow Your Bone doesn't seem too appropriate. Relatively tame compared to... Some of the other things out there. So, anyways, so the show was September 10th, mm -hmm. and uh, for the show, Emily thought it would be a good idea to get some white shirts Which and uh, get fake blood to put it on, just like uh, his Get Wet album with mm -hmm. the famous bloody nose. Mm -hmm. So, or and, like this guy right here, right on their own shirts that they're wearing right the now. Party Messiah tour shirts. Yeah, and uh, so. We uh, got those shirts made, and the day of, we supported those shirts all the way to the show. We waited outside to try to get Andrew to sign stuff. We sent him a message the previous week to try to get him on an interview, but needless to say, that did not he happen. He was busy. He was busy at Taco Bell. We ran into a couple friends before the show, and we all talked about how awesome it's going to be. We ran into someone from Washington, and we gave him some of our blood. And he really supported it. We got it all over his Guns N' Roses shirt, which that shirt could burn anyway. So let's get to the show. We doors opened at about seven o'clock. Show started at eight. Yeah. Uh, the first. It's, if yeah, first band was Black Snake. Black Snake, which I really liked them. They were uh, kind of heavy, heavier. Kind of went into the kind of classical hard rock that my dad. Uh, brought me up on, so I really enjoyed it. What about you? I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I rocked out most heavily to that. And uh, it was great. Emily, what do you think? It was fine. Um, I would say that... Uh, uh. I don't know, I feel like the microphones weren't doing so well and couldn't hear very many yeah, the microphones of the, uh, the first performers. So. Yeah, which Just led the, into Sons of Huns, which we were told kind of sound like surfer blood or not surf, surf, surf not surfer mu blood surf but, music meant black sabbath yeah and which we could definitely tell by the guitar it kind that of it, that was a good comparison but like, what happened with the um but like black snake the vocals were just too low right i mean me it basically a, led into an instrumental show yeah, because which no one me, could hear any of the singing me being a guitarist i I was just fine paying attention to the guitar and bass, which is what I did, but um, 
it would it was unfortunate that we couldn't hear really any of their vocals. Yeah. But Michael bought their CD. I so, bought Sons of Hun CD. So um, we will be giving yeah. them a listen. Absolutely. And then on to Andrew WK. The piece uh, they resist on. When the first opening bands were playing, um, didn't seem like there were a lot of people in the audience. Like there were some people in the all ages standing room and there was a little more people in the 21 and over bar area if you've been to the hawthorne you kind of know how it's laid out but it's basically the stage and then there's a all ages area and then behind that there's a bar area and then an upstairs bar area and i guess what happened is when andrew came on everybody just piled to the front and yeah, they once, just showed up out of nowhere basically. once this andrew was starting we kind of looked behind us and the room was just full and it was, it was and just, we were right at the front, too. Yeah, we were right at the front, so we just looked behind us, and we could just see, like, the entire room was just full. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of cool to see just, like, within, like, ten minutes, the room just filled because everyone was ready to party. So basically, this tour consisted of just him and a keyboard. Well, just for this show, not not for the entire tour. Yeah, for the entire tour is like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. News. <laughs> yeah, the entire tour consists of Andrew and a keyboard, mm -hmm. his bass player doing backup vocals, and pre-recorded tracks that will be playing over the PA. Basically, the whole thing is comprising, they're compressing the songs to just a keyboard and more of an intimate, friendly type of uh, setting to celebrate parties. That's basically... More people on the stage. Yeah, so basically, say. like, you take his normal shows with a full band, and it's all about rocking out in the show, rather than how this show was basically more intimate, was was a party, and as he quoted it, the entire the entire venue was a stage. Yeah. There was a pre-recorded track before he came on that was basically saying, tonight is about being friends, tonight is about having fun, tonight is about having a night that you will remember forever which yeah. you definitely felt i felt yeah, like everyone I was agree. my friend that, everyone that was very cool very cool so basically the he came out and he started with um it's time to party and everyone as soon as that song first started you could just immediately feel like you were being pushed everyone just started everyone going crazy. yeah just and went it's you no know, i went crazy myself i think everyone did mm -hmm. and just immediately, when that song started, you could tell that the atmosphere in the venue changed. There was so much anticipation, like the when before that song played, there was like a five minute, like we were all waiting, right? And then the time is like, oh, it's ten o'clock, it's about to start, it's about to start, and then the lights dim down, and then they start playing this, like, are you ready to rock? This like pumping up kind of, kind of pre-recorded thing, and. Uh, that really got people pumped up. It started with It's Time to Party, and um, within like the first half of the song, someone came on stage already, and I think that's where everyone knew this was not going to be a normal show. Alongside Andrew just playing guitar, once he saw that the people were coming up on stage and no one really cared, it was definitely the mood and the setting was definitely set for the show. Oh man, it was such a great party. Everyone jumped on on stage. And, uh, so then it led into uh, Never Stop the Party. And uh, I really love that song. And he just went, he started at that point going crazy on the piano. Mm -hmm. And it kind of, it started off to show his piano skills that was going to be shown throughout the night. Mm -hmm. And then the third song went into Getting Ready to Die. And that is one of my favorites off the Get Wet album. And at that point, I tried to contain myself between the first two songs, and at that point, I just completely lost it within the first... I think that was actually the the first time that a whole crowd of people went on stage. Yeah, I think it? there and was... you two went on stage. Yeah, when yeah. the... St I, was, when the st I went on stage by force because I honestly felt <laughs> like I was going to die. I was at the very front, so everyone was pushing I, like, on me. I climbing over your... I was, I was tolerating something. the pushing for a while, and then... Five people tried to get on top of me, so I, I was going to be crushed. So I kind of just decided that I needed to get on the stage or probably die. So I went on stage, and I lived. 
And uh, I just went on stage because I just lost it. I tried to contain myself, and I was thinking, you know, I don't, I don't know if I want to get on stage yet. And uh, sure enough, I did. I just was like, you know what, fuck it. So I went up there, and I ended up actually getting up on stage and singing with him, belting into the microphone with him, which That's in awesome. my head I was just like, Ugh, duh. And um, throughout the, we stayed up there throughout the entire song, and there was a point where everyone else was on the front of the stage and I just wanted to sing along to the song so I went to the back of the stage where his keyboard was and I just built it into the back of that microphone while he had his other microphone so I technically could have been considered backing vocals for a minute and when the song ended I did one last belt of the last lyric and stage dived which that was the first time I've ever stage dived and let me tell you I never felt so sorry for the people in the crowd in my life I it was so into it and then like as I went into the air and looked down at the people I just thought to myself I am so sorry <laughs> but it was fun and then when I got back up and I looked Emily was on Andrew's shoulders yes I was uh, I saw that people were you know singing into the microphone with him and I thought maybe I'd go up there and do the same and uh, at that time, most people were off the stage. Right now, they had when crowd surfed off, and uh, instead, Andrew um, pulled me in front of him and then put me on his shoulders. Uh, and at that moment, I just could not believe that that had happened. Um, when when the show had started, I was happy to just have had, had him touch my hand. You know, when he was reaching out and he grabbed my hand, I was happy for that. And, for him to have put me on his shoulders was amazing. I mean, I don't even remember seeing what the crowd was like because when I was on his shoulders, I just, that's all I was thinking of. And uh, I probably wasn't going along with any beat. I was just pumping my arms, just happy and excited and thrilled. and Having a ball. Yep, pretty much. And Party. then he set me down and... Well, I got off stage. I didn't really want to crowd surf because, um, you know, the music was stopped and. And at the, at that point, he definitely started to interact more with the crowd. He got the crowd going and kind of like, I don't know what the word is, but in pumped up in he in sequence. Like he had the crowd moving. There was a point right before I believe it was I love New York City, where he had the whole crowd just doing this oh arm, yeah our we, movement we were doing that and then he was like all right now we do this yeah he, had, we, he was going through a, a whole dance sequence but he had the crowd all together doing the same thing at the same exact time yeah. and i was he, filming this at the time so i could only use one arm but, <laughs> but he had the he had the entire he was interacting with the entire crowd more than like I've a conductor been, yeah pretty much and when party hard came on i believe that's when the whole room just went crazy. I believe almost like half of the entire floor went on stage yeah. and just was absolutely ridiculous on stage. The, Andrew I, was on the keyboard and then just everybody grouped around him. Yeah, it was, it was just, all centered around. He was like basically the nucleus Yeah, <laughs> the party. The 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 cell. Yeah. The, the, and, yeah, cellular and, um, biology. It got to the point where I believe there were too many people even on stage for him to comprehend and he had to stop for a second just to like move away from this sweat pit that he was in and then he continued the song. And then once everyone was done, security was like, you know, you guys got to get off stage. But it was just, I've never, I've been through a lot of concerts and a lot of different crowds and I've never seen such enthusiasm and interaction and pure energy from it was definitely the favorite my most favorite concert show i've ever been to i've never seen a crowd like that before you know it, like emily was saying that Me neither everyone everyone helped each other out everyone was friendly oh yes i i spent a good yep. time after um uh, get ready to die uh i spent a good time trying to find my camera and uh when people saw that i was looking for something they offered to help me look for it and were very um, helpful and you know that we did a pass along thing of me telling one person and the other person telling that person until it made it to the front to see if my camera was up there 
so definitely a lot of friendly people. Um, we got a lot of high fives and all that after I got off stage. So. There was a guy who tapped me on the shoulder and gave me a high five and he just smiled at me and gave me a thumbs up and I was like, bro, I don't even know who you are, but okay. There were, Very friendly There vibe. were only two things I had to complain about. There was the stage diving, like I loved the stage diving, but towards the end there was a couple times where I just got kicked in the head. To the point where I like had to make sure the like we had fake blood on our faces, mm -hmm. but I had to make sure there was like no real blood coming out of my head. Just it just hurt that bad. And then there was a guy who was standing on my foot and making just digging my toenail into my skin, and I was just like, <laughs> it hurt really, it hurt really bad. But besides that, it was just it was an amazing show. I, I, 10 out of 10 would go again. I almost, I, really, I almost would recommend to go to that show. I would enjoy that show more than his band concerts just because it's so intimate and fun. Like, sure, I'll go to his band shows for the rocking and everything, but if I'm going to have a blast and have most fun time ever I would definitely go to a show like that again and the great thing is is Andrew's so cool about anything you know there were fans going up on stage putting hats on him and sunglasses and you all could, this sorts of stuff and you could definitely tell he's the kind of guy who knows that his fans make who he is and he appreciates every single one of them so mm -hmm. he definitely wants to have a good time with them and oh so after the show we actually got to talk to him for a yeah bit. we we stayed outside for about an hour, and we got to finally meet him. You know, I told him personally that I had never been to a party before, and I was very honored to have him as my first party, and he thanked me for that. And we just talked about stuff for a while, and he was, he was one of the nicest guys that I've ever met. He was really cool. And we actually got him to sign some stuff. Mm -hmm. We had him sign our shirts. So these are the shirts with the blood on them. Yeah. That's that Emily's mine. right there. That's Emily's. I had made it into a crop top, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's my little long one. And I had, him, I had him try to do a little design with my Sharpie. So he did like a 3D thing with the red and the blue. It says, To Jordan, Party Hard, Andrew WK, 2013. These shirts still reek of man sweat. And he had signed mine and put Women party sweat too. on it. No, that's man sweat. <laughs> well, I mean, what about hers? That's man sweat. <laughs> okay, fine. It's Andrew's. Sweat. I had a. I I bought one of these T-shirts like the, like what they're wearing, and had yeah. Andrew sign that. But I'm not currently wearing it right now. So then, I had him sign my CDs. I had him sign my copy of the Get Wet 10th Anniversary Edition. Mm -hmm. My uh, copy of The Wolf, and the single for Tear It Up, which was had the two songs previewed for The Wolf. I was looking for some more CDs around town, but they didn't have them. And then there was an artist, a local artist around town, who had created some posters that were just for the show. And they had this cool design on them, just, you know, this awesome art. And he even signed Emily's saying, to Emily, thank, thank you for letting me put you on my shoulders, party hard. And we're going to get these framed. Yeah. And then I had him sign a guitar case of mine because I have a lot of my musical inspirations and artists that I just think are awesome. Okay, just block my face. Oh, sorry. He definitely is an inspiration to people. I had a blast, so I felt I would be honored if he signed my uh, guitar case. And he's just a really funny guy, too. Mm -hmm. There was someone uh, when we went to meet Andrew WK who would brought a custom made Voodoo Donuts. Uh, it was like a picture of Andrew WK from the Get Wet album. From the Get Wet album, drawn on the donut with icing, and he he graciously accepted that. And the next day, or maybe a couple days later, I saw on his Facebook page that he had. Uh, posed with it. I did see that too. Yes. Yeah, so that very was good really cool. Of the donut too, and it was so. very cool. Yeah. After the show, he, for a couple of days, just kept bloating on Facebook about how blown away he was for, about the Portland show. Yeah. So, 
we definitely Which we're really grateful for you know yeah i took pride in how awesome that show was yeah. so that show i would rate a 15 out of 10 worth 15 every out of 10. penny and mm-hmm. every ounce of time yeah and uh it wasn't even that expensive it was like 20 bucks for 17 or whatever yeah so that's not bad anyways that is Absolutely. our first review on musical notes there should be more is coming soon and musical uh, notes and uh, thank you for watching. If you attended this show, please leave a comment and uh, let us know what you Absolutely. thought of the show. Bye. Musical note! <laughs>